Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and yeah, uh, we're here again. But before I get into it, firstly, the, the content of this video is about toxicity and messages and raging, but none of the replays you're going to see are got anything to do with it. They are just replays that people have sent to me and, you know, I want to play them. So there's no correlation between the replays and what we're talking about. They're just there for aesthetics and they're also a good way for me to show you some really cool replays. So what is this video all about? Oh, we actually play a game that seems to attract a lot of toxicity. And I, I don't understand why. I mean, okay, Blitz is one of those games that you'll, that you'll, you'll experience a range of emotions from elation to absolute damn right de depression. It'll make you happy, it'll make you sad, it'll make you giggle like a fool, and it'll make you cry into your drink. But there are levels of toxicity in this game. And I thought I'd seen most of it until yesterday. And boy, was I shocked. And it's very rare to shock me. I mean, one, I'm an ex-soldier. And two, I'm a lawyer, and it's really difficult to shock the likes of me, believe me. Now, I'm not some fool who thinks that if I do a YouTube video, I'm suddenly going to put the world to rights, and the community is going to be all peaceful and nice, and everybody's going to be walking around wearing rose-tinted spectacles. I'm not naive, and I'm certainly not stupid. But, and those of you who do know me should know this, I will always jump onto a soapbox of some description if I see, firstly, things that I think really hurt the community, and secondly, if I think that the person who's hurting the community is an influencer, i.e. A, a YouTuber or a Twitcher or whatever you want to call them, somebody who has a platform. Now, why do I get miffed over people who have platforms? Well, generally I don't. I mean, I generally don't get involved in anybody's content in, you know, I'm, I'm not interested in what other YouTubers do in order to grow their channel. You know, it's, it's not my business. But when that crosses a line or a threshold to the extent where I feel that that particular content creator is doing something that is firstly damaging to the community and secondly damaging to a game as a whole, then yeah, I, I get my soapbox out. And I feel that I'm perfectly entitled to do it. Because, you know, a couple of things. One, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I've always had this attitude, regardless of whether or not I've now become a CC. And two, because I am an official CC. And I feel it's one of the obligations and duties of an official CC to try and bring some form of harmony to the community. Because after all, it's a bloody game. It's meant to be enjoyed by everybody from all walks of life. Free from oppression, free from harassment, and certainly free from abuse. Now, none of us are angels. None of us are squeaky clean. We all have our own levels of toxicity within the game. I mean, I will call people Muppets. I will also rage. You know, I'm not just sitting here saying, eh, do as I say, not as I do. I haven't suddenly turned woke. I mean, it, it's that's not the way I operate. And I only really get upset when I think something is so bad that, you know, it, it, condemnation has to happen. You know, you cannot go around thinking that this type of behavior in certain quarters is perfectly fine and dandy. Because you know what? It ain't. And I don't care what you think, and I don't care who you are, and you know, if, if, if you think that the behavior I'm talking about is fine and dandy, then you, you're very much mistaken. You know, I've raged, I've been upset, I've been absolutely to the brink of rage quitting the game. But you know what? I've never once, not once, found it necessary to wish some horrific disease or some terrible infliction upon somebody. I will generally call people Muppet or Moron or things like that. 
And yeah, okay, some people will find that offensive. And I get that and I understand that and I need to tone it down myself. But I don't write it in the chat. I've never written it in the chat. And those of you who watch my streams, and I stream a lot, it's very rare that you'll hear me, you know, drop F-bombs. I'll drop them occasionally. And by the way, in real life, you know, the F word is one of my staples because whilst I may have a very broad vocabulary in real life towards my friends, the people I know, you know, then you, I have a freedom of speech. I can drop an F-bomb every now, every five seconds if I wanted to. And why not? I'm not hurting anybody, to be honest with you. But in my streams, and certainly in my content, you will very rarely hear me swear to that level. But, and this is the big but, we do have an issue in the game. And a lot of it is to do with keyboard warriors, to be honest with you. So let's deal with that first before I get into the main event, which I know you're all waiting for. So everybody who sits behind a keyboard is, is, is Arnold Schwarzenegger, Conan the Barbarian, you know, Terminator, T-1000, that, 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 because they can, because they are blessed with anonymity and they are blessed with the fact that they're just using words. Put these people toe to toe with you in real life and the chances are they are like a little cute cuddly puppy dog and they are the least offensive people that you'll ever find but that's the problem with keyboard warriors what you will say under the guise of anonymity is not what you will say in real life you know if i stick off these people in front of the real people in real life it's a different kettle of fish so you're always going to get that and you're always going to get mindless muppets who, well, they just like to shock. And you're going to get that too. But the thing is, you do really have to consider who you're raging at. And I've said this many times before, this is not a new message. Because while some of us are pretty thick-skinned, you know, and abuse and toxicity and name-calling, you know, will never hurt us. I mean, remember the saying, sticks in stones may break my bones, blah, blah, blah. But names will never hurt me. I mean, that's pretty, pretty true. But in this day and age, you do not know and you can never know the mental state of somebody else. What may be water off a duck's back to one could cause serious anguish to another. And... We are, as a species to an extent, pretty, pretty selfish. We don't really consider others. And we should, because at the end of the day, it's a game. One thing that really gets my goat is when you get the levels of toxicity I've seen in, you know, the, the stupid game modes like mad games. I mean, boy, have I seen some people raging in that. And I'm not a big fan of mad games. I mean, I, it's not one of my favorite game modes. But I, I enjoyed it yesterday on my stream because I just did HE challenges and played every tank with just HE, just for the fun of it. And people still rage, and they still rage, and they still call you horrible names, and they still wish horrible inflictions upon you. So there is an expectation that you are going to get some toxicity, but why? And I don't think it belongs in the game. But now to the main event. Toxicity, you see it all the time. I mean, there are fools out there. There are people with limited vocabularies and limited brain cells who are always going to be toxic. But what I was shown yesterday really took it to a new level because it came from a YouTuber. I don't need to mention any names. It's not my, it's, you know, I'm not here to name and shame. But that behavior is totally, totally, totally inappropriate. It has no right both in this game or on the platform. And, you know, I'm not the policeman of Blitz and I'm not, certainly not the policeman of YouTube. And no doubt the, you know, appropriate action will be taken against that person for what that person actually said. And that's up to them. I mean, that's their problem, not mine. But I just want to set the record straight. YouTubers, even if you've only got 20 subscribers or 70 odd thousand subscribers, you, and they, as YouTubers, are influencers. And as an influencer, they have a platform. And having a platform is both a good and a bad thing in a lot of respects. 
when you have a platform and you're reaching out to people, people generally are going to listen to you and people are generally going to believe that what's good for one is good for the other. So if you have a platform as a YouTuber and you go around absolutely abusing all in sundry, then you are sending a message that it's perfectly fine and acceptable to abuse all in sundry. And there are levels of things YouTubers can and cannot do. I mean, everybody knows that there's a particular YouTuber who's been around a long time and is very popular, who likes to rage on his streams, but he's funny in doing that. And he rages in a way that, you know, makes people laugh. And he never really crosses the line, to be honest with you. He never really, you know, focuses his abuse against an individual. And he never, ever, ever wishes harm or stat shames that person. Okay? He doesn't really do that. What I saw yesterday took that to a completely new level. There were threats. There was abuse. There was personal abuse involving things to be done with your mother. There was stat shaming, despite the fact that the person you were talking about was actually a pro. There, were, there was almost everything rolled up in one big hateful bundle and thrown out there. And that hateful bundle albeit on a stream, was sending a message to our community at large that, you know what? It's all right to have this behavior. It's perfectly acceptable to act like this. And if what I've heard is true, that the person, the influencer, the YouTuber in question, didn't really mean it, it was just done to generate views and drama, then that's even worse. I mean, what's the next level? Is the next level, you know, taking it up a notch? Because, you know, I didn't, I got so many views from abusing somebody and being nasty to somebody, I now need to knock it up a notch to get even more views. I now need to be even more hurtful, even more disgraceful, even more abusive to the point where I am gonna give somebody a physical or even mental breakdown this is not acceptable behavior under any stretch of the imagination. Now, the particular person he was raging at, who he named, I know him, he's, a, he's, he's, he's an acquaintance of mine and he's a pro player. And to be honest with you, he's pretty thick skinned. But what if he wasn't that person? What if he wasn't thick skinned? What if he was some, you know, 13 or 14 year old kid with you know, a not too stable mental state. I mean, that level of abuse could have pushed that poor kid over the edge. I mean, I know people who play this game who are, who are introverted, or in some respects, what some may call eccentric, insofar as, you know, they, they may not have the same levels of social interaction that others may have. And they play the game because it makes them feel good. But sometimes people who are eccentric or introverted or have not the same, you know, or limited social interactions than others can experience pain and anguish in a completely different way. And for an influencer to throw that around willy nilly as if it's, you know, normal, I just don't think is right. In fact, I think it's bang out of order. Now, me personally, I'm not gonna show you the video in question, but I am gonna leave a link in the description of this video, so you are at liberty to go and check it out yourself. And you can agree or disagree with me on the levels of abuse, toxicity, and hatred thrown out there by this particular influencer. And at the same time, why don't you drop into that particular channel that I'm gonna link and drop uh, the, the guy a sub. I mean, his name's Ventium. He's the clan lead of uh, Karna on the EU server. And he's a pro player and he's in a pro clan and you know, he's a good lad. And he's 
just starting out on YouTube, so feel free to drop him a, uh, a little subscribe as well, because why not? He deserves it. Because he certainly didn't deserve the abuse that was thrown at him yesterday by a particular influencer. Now, it's not the first time I've fallen out with this influencer over drama, and I don't care about drama as such. You can do as much drama as you like as a YouTube content creator, but if that drama turns into negative drama, then yeah, I'm gonna get upset. And don't get me wrong, I haven't got the biggest platform in the world, but I'm really happy that I've managed to get to 5,400 subscribers without doing drama. And that I'm proud of. I may not be a big YouTuber, I may not have a big channel, but I haven't done drama. And I certainly don't go around creating drama in order to gain views or subscribers. I would rather get my subscribers the normal way, which is doing content that helps the community rather than drives a massive wedge through its beating heart. So it becomes a community none of us want to be involved in anymore. Because I tell you what, if I wasn't, if, if, if all of a sudden somebody, you know, those subscribers of that particular influencer all of a sudden went out and started acting the same way as he did, I would stop playing this game because I find no fun or entertainment in being subjected to extreme levels of abuse, threats and toxicity. And as I said, I'm no shrinking violet. I'm an ex-soldier. I've been in combat. It takes a lot to shock me, but I play the game because it's enjoyable, it's fun and I like it. I don't play the game to be abused. I don't play the game to read incendiary messages telling me to get horrible diseases or afflictions or the things that you're going to do to members of my family in a in a in, in, in a in a carnal way you know, i don't play the game for that reason and i don't want it in the game i understand you get frustrated i understand you know things annoy us but seriously i mean come on guys however my point remains what i saw yesterday took this to a completely new level that i've never actually seen any other youtuber influencer twitch person whatever you want to call them do and you know what I find it reprehensible that this behavior actually made it onto my screen. And my 10 year old watches, and heaven forbid he would have seen that video. Thankfully it was like done it, I, I didn't see it until 4 a.m. my time. So he was tucked up in bed nicely. But he enjoys watching the game and he enjoys watching the videos that certain YouTubers churn out there. But, and I'm just so glad that he didn't happen to be sat with me when I was watching that video because boy he would learn a load of new things which i don't want him to know yet and this is my point tone it down guys it's meant to be a game it's meant to be fun it's meant to be enjoyable and for the influencers out there the youtubers the twitchers the streamers whatever you want to call yourselves you know better or you should know better and if you don't know better you have no right being on this platform doing what you are doing Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been my soapbox rant on that particular subject. By all means, go over and check the video. And like I said, click a nice subscribe to Vention. Why not? He deserves it. Comment and everything below as per usual. I would like to say a massive shout out to firstly, all my patrons, all my YT members. Without you and your support, these videos would be a lot harder to make, but also to all my subscribers who have stuck with me through thick and thin. A big thank you. If you want any decent replays, you know, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And until the next time, guys, this is not a catchy catchphrase. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that really is what it's all about. It's having fun and being happy.